We all know Australians love burnouts, so we're up here at Heathcote Park Raceway for the Burnout Kings. Big pad here, heaps of cars here, sixes, eights and blown eights, so let's get into it. So there's three classes on here today, six cylinder V8s and blown V8s. Blown V8 class, 10,000 up for grabs. The other two classes, two and a half thousand, I believe, but it's been some good skids so far. <laughs> So we just stand here at the scrutineering shed. Now, a bit of a ritual with these guys. As soon as you leave scrutineering, you've got to give it a bit of a rev. We'll see if this uh, entrant does, does what we're talking about. A bit of a big rev. <laughs> Local favourite here, a bit of a AU Falcon, NA 4 litre. Bit of a rig this one. This doesn't look like you've ever done a burn out in it, man. No, no never, never. First time, first time today. First time, bro. First time. Never been here before in my life. No. Officer. <laughs> <laughs> LS. This is the sound of my people. What have we got in the LS? Yeah, it's a 5.3. For years I had a blown through, I wait nothing. What size is the blow? It's 871, so it's a little filled 871, Teflon, oh, yeah. stripped, high helix thing. We sort of built this one, it's got studs and forges and H-beams and balance and Joe Blow crank support and okay. all the things you need to make one of these things reliable. Yeah, there's a lot of load on the crank there with the... Well it is, yeah, yeah. that's why we did the, the bearing support and the timing cover. Yeah. Good luck. LS the world right there, 53 litre. Could you get any more Australian, you've got an LS Commodore with a set of year buds on it. This thing's going to be like hitting, hitting the limiter for sure. Forget the 2K barra, this is a 1K barra. Surely this engine's got a lazy 600, 700,000 Ks on it. Still going strong. I like your, uh, I like your sticker on the top of the windscreen. Thanks. Classic Aussie car, 57 U. Looks like it's ripped through about 600 sets of rear tyres. This car looks like it's had uh, quite a good life. Yeah, this car well looked after. One of the was the Never been abused. Cents, but, uh, probably a bit over 400. Yeah. <laughs> its record was 14 in one day. Really? Yep. Sets of 14 sets of tyres in one day. 14 sets of tyres in one day.
still got a holding engine in it. Uh, 355 rod or? No, no, 304. 304. Yeah, case injection blower, 871. Yep. Uh, big and ugly hat. Yeah. Um, still flat tap at cam. Okay. Yeah. Old school sound. Yeah, old school sound. As far as I know, it's the first one in the TBS case injection. New stickers, Luke. Aussie style, big and small. I'll also be putting on a t-shirt. Oh yeah. This and plenty more, i.e. 2K Barra stickers in our shop, shop.fullboost.com.au. Bit of an oddball car, Will. This is a, is it Vauxhall, yeah? Yeah, it's a Vauxhall Viva, 1966. So how did, you, how did you end up with it? A mate of mine bought it as a garden ornament for $200. Oh. Oh. He had similar ideas, but never went through with it. Yeah, it's got when, a li little I bit of patina, just a little bit. Yeah. When I got the car, there was nothing from the front of the engine all the way through to the back. Yep. Me and my uncle Rod, we did all of it together. Okay. So he, he done most of it and I helped where yep. I could. Yep. And obviously you've done a little bit of modification there to get that LS into it. Sorry, you said it was a six litre? Yeah, it's a six litre. Yep. I bought the bottom end for $1,200 and then dad had the heads. <laughs> Oh, Higgins me. head, so he's yeah, a, lot of, a lot of this stuff's his old older stuff, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing well. Now I saw you run not longer, you ran a 10 second pass in this, because a lot of burnout cars, they look fast, but they're not necessarily fast in a straight line. Yeah, no, it was a good fun. I'll that do was it your again. first time out there, wasn't it? I think yeah. you said. Yeah, yeah, the first time, the first pass I went 12 something, I don't know, I was just taking it easy. And then it went 1150, yeah, same probably. mile an hour. Okay. And then yeah, next pass it was 1079 at 124 or something. Yeah, nice. Because this wouldn't really be geared for that, would it? I'm assuming. No, it's three, three, two, five gears. Yeah. So, definitely not. So, what do you got a glide in it or? Uh, it's a turbo 350. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't, you don't hear that transmission used so much anymore. Nah, nah. Dad, Dad said he wanted it, so that's what we got. What would this weigh? It's probably heavier than it looks. I'm assuming. Yeah. Because you got, you obviously uh, added a fair bit of bars to it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't wouldn't know. Why it wouldn't be yeah. much. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah, what rear end you got? Obviously got like a nine inch. Yeah, or something, it's yeah? a nine inch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, killer. Not a bad car. got the Yule Jizz VF wagon here. Huge BDS blower on an LS. This thing just did a pretty cool skid. Nice seeing late model uh, cars turn into burnout machines. Genuine farm truck or what? Yeah, there's the uh, handbrake assembly in here. Bit of stuff going on in here. Radiator in the boot. 
some serious tub work going on here. She's got the concrete in the back. This BA just sums up Australia, doesn't it? It's got the full Mexican Hoon Cartel vibe going to it. Chap just informed me he's got a built engine in it. It's about to put a twin turbo setup on it. It's kept it NA for this weekend because it's a fresh engine, but it's actually a fair bit of detail has gone into this. Alright, so at full boost, there's nothing more than we love than oddball builds, and Jason's got a really cool stanza here. Tell us a bit about, we can obviously see it's barrel power, but your intercooler setup, uh, sorry, your supercharger setup here, it looks like you're running some sort of homemade intercooling system. Yeah, so what it's got is it's got the L67 supercharger off yeah. like a um, Commodore, basically, and it's got like one of the Mace intercoolers. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's got a tank, 20 litre uh, fuel cell in the back that we fill up with ice, water. Pumps it up to the front, keeps the intercooler nice and cool. Yep. And then just everything else, we sort of kept sort of standard, like the cooling and all the rest of the stuff, just put all the Falcon stuff into it. Yeah. That way when you go to events like this, if you ever need anything, like a Falcon person just happens. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So how much boost can you get out of this setup? So what we're running at the moment is not a lot. We're running about five pounds, but yeah. it seems to be enough to be able to get it off the mark really yeah. well without causing too much issues to the the poor little... So it's just giving you a bit more torque, which yeah, is what you need out of there. exactly. Yeah? Just enough to get us off the line. Once it's up there, it loves it. You've still got that forward shifter in there as well. So what, what gearbox are you using? It's still the BTR. Ah, oh, it is a BTR. Yeah, just set up. No shift kits or anything like that. It's just set up so that you can see the speed off the back of the box and just does what it needs to do. Still a stock NA engine or...? Yes. Yep. For now. For now, yeah. We'll see how long it lasts. It has, it has managed to do a fair few sets, but, you know, you never know when it's going to go. Yeah, nice. Oh, well, good luck for today. Um, it's it's different. different. It's something different.
cars to the killer skid and yet another blown LS combo. When it comes to burnouts, the LS is the choice of engine. LS is in everything. Blown combos, NA, tunnel ramps, you name it. And see why people use them, they fit in everything. Seems to be a common modification on the old uh, manganators. Put either a single or a twin throttle on top of the um, planet. Mate, you got the skinniest tyres I've ever seen. How, what are they? Like space savers? They pretty much are. Yeah, yeah pretty much. tiny. What are they? Like 155. 155, 65. So that must take a. 30 seconds to blow up or? Oh, about two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's going on here? You got a tail shaft problem? Yeah, I've done a centre bearing on my brother's car. Pulled mine out for him to skid, then put mine back in, but they're different lengths, so. Oh, okay. It's not going to fit. Oh, sorry, what size is the rim? Is it 14 or 14 inch, yeah. Oh, it's a 14. What have you got in here? Uh, 3 8? Yeah. Yep. Buick, yep. Oh, yeah. You got some sponsorship by the ice cream company, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah, friends ice cream. Oh, that's company. all right. Mate, they do a killing out here at these burnout comps, I reckon. Yeah. So this is not actually a ute. It looks like it's got a stubby. <laughs> but it's actually a sedan with the rear cut off. It's a homemade ute. So it's got a tray put on, but obviously it's got the sedan wheel base. It looks a bit deceiving. It is barra powered too. The old Folden. Is it a Ford? Is it a Holden? It's the Folden. Yeah. 